Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is using the TI-30XS multi-view calculator to simplify each of these radicals. Let's first look at that square root of 830, 832. So I'm just going to do square root, push second, and then x squared, and I get a decimal. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the mode. So if you go to mode, put it in math print. So click over, push enter. Now it's in math print. And let me put 832 in there and see what happens. And see it simplified it. That would be A. Uh, A is 8 square root of 13. Now let me type this in. This is a little bigger. Let's see if it does it. 5,696. Oof. It didn't simplify it. So when it can't simplify it, use a trick and you can use your table feature. So we'll use table. Now when you're simplifying a radical, you want to see the largest square that goes into that number. So let me go back real quick uh, and do the square root of 596. All right, 75. All right, might be not the largest, but that gives us a, a starting point of what to check up to. So let's use the table feature. I'm going to type in. Uh, 5,996. And I want to look for the largest square that goes into that. So I'm going to put divided by x squared. Enter. I'm going to start at 0. And I'm going to keep it on auto. Alright, I get an error. It decreases 4. Eight. See, it's 8 and 89. Remember, that's a square, so that would be uh, 64. And 89 is prime. There's not a square that goes into 89. So that looks... Yep, see, it's... Getting smaller, smaller. Yep. All right, so the way that you would do this, it would be B, eight square root of 89. Remember, I purposely put a square for that function. Now, second quit. Now let me show you something. Type this in 5,696. I should type this in and get the same decimal. So 8 times square root of 89. Oh. <laughs> let me put it in classic. Say so quits. 8 square root of 89. There we go. Pretty sure that's the same, but let me just type in so that you can see. All right, cool. That's it. And if you have any more, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me, jdmathguy at gmail.com. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.